The European Union has regulations for almost everything, from the color of its apples to the size of its oranges. But when it comes to taxes, each country has its own system. In Germany, companies have to pay 29.5% corporate tax on profits. Companies in the Principality of Liechtenstein pay just 12.5%, while Ireland also tries to attract corporate investment with a similarly low tax rate. In Cyprus, the corporate tax rate is lower still at 10%. It's little wonder that so much cash gets shifted from one country to another, as businesses look for the best financial conditions possible. What we're seeing is the era of globalization in business models. Germany has a business model. We produce goods and sell them to the rest of the world. A country like Cyprus has relatively little in the way of manufacturing industry and will never be competitive. So it's focused on two niches. One is tourism and the other is offshore banking. And so the tiny Mediterranean island of Cyprus has become home to some of the world's biggest tax consultancies. Their goal is to find the cheapest tax model for their clients. In Berlin, Thomas Eigenthaler of the German Taxpayers Union has long been unhappy about these tax havens. The Internet is full of websites offering to help companies deposit money made in Germany in offshore accounts. This one promises to set up a shell subsidiary in Cyprus for little more than 2,000 euros. Many see tax evasion as a minor offense. For businesses, it's a question of profit. And I think we all have to be aware that taxes are a price we pay. The price for unity, law and freedom. Our wonderful nation Germany comes at a price. Private individuals as well as companies must bear that in mind. Nothing comes without a price. Tax havens thrive on the constant flow of fresh capital. Meanwhile, many other countries are lacking tax revenue it would otherwise use for roads, schools and hospitals. This form of tax competition is harming Europe, a trade zone that aims to be uniform. There are good reasons for saying it's unfair and that there should at least be a minimum tax rate. In Cyprus, the profits that are being taxed at a low rate have often been earned in other parts of the Eurozone, and that's not right. It's a disadvantage to those states whose economies are based on industry and services, but where companies are being taxed in tax havens. The consequences are devastating. The EU Commissioner for Taxation estimates that the European Union loses around 1 trillion euros a year. That's why calls are growing for an across-the-board tax rate in Europe. Cyprus is the first country that will see drastic changes to its banking sector. It could be the beginning of the end for Europe's tax havens.